On the GTN, if we're approaching our final destination, we can prepare ahead of time by loading an approach. To do so, we select Home, then Procedure, and then Approach. From here, we can select what approach we want. Today, we'll say they're using ILS Runway 8, and we know that it's in a radar environment, so we're expecting our transition to be vectors. If a different transition had been assigned, we would touch vectors to select the correct transition. If they had cleared us on this approach, we'd want to activate it. But at this point, we're just anticipating it, so we'll select Load Approach. Since it's an ILS approach, the GTN went ahead and tuned our localizer frequency into the standby. From there, we can flip it into the active. Once the controller begins vectoring us, we can go to Home Page, and then Procedure, and choose Activate Vectors to Final. The approach is loaded and ready to go. Here's the same procedure on a 600 series. We select Home, Procedure, and then Approach. Then we select the approach we want and press Load Approach. One more handy feature for approaches in the 700 series is built-in charts. The GTN knows we just loaded the ILS Runway 8, and we can actually bring up that approach plate in a full screen view. Here we can see all our minimums and relevant information we normally find on the paper charts. If we are using Garmin Chart View powered by Jeppesen, we also have the ability to overlay the plan view of the approach plate directly on the moving map.